everyone today's reading is his current thoughts intentions and lightly actions okay so um if you would like a private reading with me please check the description box below um today's reading is a pick a card it's intuitive it's also general so bear in mind some of the messages might not resonate if they don't just take whatever does and leave what doesn't um thank you to anyone returning um hello to anyone new please guys um subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified of future uploads and yeah just thank you for being here and i hope you enjoy the reading today please comment in the description and in the description even in the comments uh, what group you chose and how it resonated or didn't as the case may be with you so yeah let's get on with today's reading hi group one. Oh. That's interesting, you've only got three cards. You're supposed to have four. I thought that when I picked the pile up, I thought, oh, that feels thin. Okay, this sometimes happens, they're all really nice. So, <laughs> his current thoughts, intentions and likely actions. Do you know what, guys, for a lot of you this week, things are gonna move forwards. I say this week, it's around this time. Whenever you, this reading is essentially timeless, um, but some people watch all my readings, and so this is like a weekly update. Um, so it depends on you but around this time things are likely to move forward so you've got the king of wands two of cups ace of wands king of wands is the divine masculine in action this is um a, a energy of someone who has taken control of the situation in a good way this is pure masculine fire this is charisma focused energy determination taking on the creative challenge and moving forwards with it so you know this is really him on fire moving forwards towards the two of cups this is a connection on a soul level with you so you know he is looking <clears throat> excuse me to move into that connection and towards that connection with you his his intentions are to take action the ace of wands are about um inspiration about getting that initial idea it can be an aha a breakthrough this card can represent a spiritual awakening so if you're looking for a kind of confirmation on something of the connection with this person this would definitely be a yes for that so if you've happened upon this reading and you're thinking is this person the right person for me there is a good chance of that being a yes of course with it being a general reading you do need to be aware um, that sometimes it's not always completely accurate but you know there is a really good strong sense here with these cards that this person sees you in that romantic way they feel the soul connection whether they would articulate it in that way or not is a different matter they may not actually really be that spiritual so they might not see it as a soul connection they might just feel like you really get them or they feel really drawn to you and they maybe don't even know why but the point is this is a real meeting on a mind body and soul level and he feels this strong inspiration around you and this desire to take action the ace of wands with the king of wands really does indicate a sense of wanting to take on the challenge and move things forward so this is going to be very short because there's not a lot else to say but it's so positive i know you're not going to mind so guys i'll see you in a few days on the soulmate reading or on a private reading in the meantime loads of love guys and i'll see you soon hi group two right so here's current thoughts intentions and likely actions don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads we've got the hanged man we've got the ace of cups we've got the ten of wands and we've got the emperor <clears throat> So his current thoughts, intentions, and likely actions. So his current thoughts are kind of stuck a little at the moment. Um, he's probably busy with work um, or with other commitments. He's got a lot on. With this Ten of Wands, there's definitely a sense of burden. So this could be... Um, sort of metaphorical burden so it could be him feeling kind of stressed out by other people around him situations around him or it could be that he actually has a lot of commitments so this could be work commitments or taking care of family or you know whatever it's a sense of having a lot on you know this person is surrounded by all these uh, rods you know they're very restricted in their movements and what they can do so at the moment this person is restricted and that's 
you know, seconded by this hanged man. You know, so the hanged man is saying, you know, he's kind of not in a position to take action at the moment or he's kind of, his thoughts are kind of bound up. Um, his intentions are to try and get things sorted first before he can move towards you. You know, um, his intentions are to move towards you ultimately with the emperor. This energy is a card of action and of taking charge of the situation and sorting things out. So I don't think it's like that he's never going to take action. I do think his intentions are there, but it's like he needs to get this situation, if you like, sorted first. Okay. And that's what the hanged man is about. He's like, this is, it may feel to you like he's missing opportunities, but in a way he's kind of waiting for the right time and the right opportunity. And at the minute he's got a lot on. But his current thoughts are of the Ace of Cups. He is thinking there's a new opportunity here. There is opportunity between you guys to move forwards. You know, he does have this sense of emotion for you and this sense of possible new beginning. The Ace of Cups is this sense of, you know, the cup running over. This is this sense of love and joy and happiness. So there's definitely this feeling here for you. Um... It is possible for some of you that your uh, person feels stuck. So for some of them, it will be the opposite. They won't so much feel stuck as it's like not the right time for them or not the right opportunity um, because of this 10 of wands. They've kind of got too much else on and they're kind of, so they're kind of stuck in that. But for some of your people, it will be that they feel stuck. They feel like they can't move or they can't take action but actually they need to look at it differently or a better opportunity will come in the future it's kind of like a pause but it's not negative okay it's not negative because this kind of being held in this position will allow this person to have some sort of breakthrough some sort of epiphany which will ultimately be good for him in terms of driving the situation forwards working out what to do you know, and moving things along. So it's not a bad thing at all. It does just mean that it's delayed slightly. But ultimately, he does intend to act. The Ace of Cups does indicate that his current thoughts and intentions are of this new situation. The Aces are great because they do indicate success with them. You know, it's the start of something that can be successful. But the, the Aces also indicate the initial inspiration, the initial idea and there's definitely this sense that he's kind of getting to, I feel he's getting to a point where he's starting to see that maybe this difficulty or the work or whatever it is that's been kind of giving him a sense of burden or taking up his time, it won't be that long before that can be put aside or minimized or changed so that he can move forwards. And because his current intentions, uh, sorry, his likely actions into the near future are to take some action with the emperor this is a card of masculine in action it is a sense of clarity understanding and movement forward so i do think ultimately that is where he's planning to go but at the minute for it's going to be different for each of you but there are limitations let's say at the moment and so he's kind of not he's feeling a little bit stuck or a little bit burdened at this time but it doesn't change the fact that his intentions are still to have this new start and are to kind of step into that in the near future so loads of love number twos i hope that makes sense i will see you on the soulmate reading in a couple of days or on a private reading in the meantime don't forget to hit the bell see you guys hi guys how are you doing so his current thoughts intentions and likely actions so we've got the eight of wands we've got the seven of wands we've got the lovers and the two of coins okay right so what is going on here his current thoughts and intentions likely actions so he is wanting to move forward he seems pretty determined okay so if you've had a period of time where things have been stuck or things haven't felt to move recently, that's going to change. The eight of wands, the eight of rods here, really is a sense of like something becoming like unplugged and unstuck, you know. If he listens to his intuition, he will get some sort of indicator, some sort of nudge, some sort of help during this time. 
and this is going to set his thoughts going he's going to get some sort of inspiration some sort of little nudge that will allow him to kind of overcome his limitations and move forwards which is great so if you've been waiting for him to um overcome some internal fears issues you know wobbles he looks like he it looks like he's going to get over them uh, soon you know which is great um or around this time the seven of wands though suggests that even though he's going to kind of overcome his own internal issues about the situation he is still going to have to overcome some external issues with the seven of wands so he's maybe feeling better about the situation and feels more empowered to change things but there are maybe still other people or situations that are getting in the way the seven of wands says that if he can listen to the truth in his heart if he can listen to what is what he knows is right for him he will be able to overcome those situations and those people those naysayers if you like but it will require him to really be very determined and focused the eight of wands does uh, suggest that he can though because the eight of wands is about be having that strength to move forward so i do think that you know it's going to be a bit of a battle it already has been a bit of a battle but i do think that he can his thoughts and intentions are to overcome it the lovers indicates two things one uh, well three things really the choice which is another name for this card the divine love connection and a sense of truth and being honest about himself and what he wants so let's go through each of those things because they're all relevant they're saying so in terms of the choice he's at a choice point now he's got to kind of overcome the situation he's got to push through the barriers he's got to listen to his heart and soul he's got to listen to his intuition and move forward and that his intention and thoughts and intentions do revolve around listening to those kind of guidances and moving towards things okay so that is his intention he does want to do that um the other um the next thing is the divine love so he does feel this soul connection to you he does feel this connection he um some of you that he won't be completely conscious of it so there it's it's kind of indicating there is a soul connection even if he's not aware but there's this strong bond between you guys you know and this is a factor in his thoughts and intentions so even if he's not really conscious of it it keeps him it keeps you coming up in his mind he keeps thinking about you and wondering about you even in sort of in spite of himself if you like the other thing is his current thoughts and intentions wherever he stands with regards to you consciously his thoughts and intentions around this time are to be more honest and to be more authentic so it might be that he hasn't completely realized that how he feels about you or what he thinks about you at the minute but it's like he is coming to the truth more he is starting to think about what he really wants what he really believes in I really think this is a shift away from doing what other people want and expect or society and moving more towards his authentic truth you know I really think that this is what this is about so his likely actions are that he's going to be kind of stressed out by this because there's all this change going on and it's very positive but in the kind of in in the instance that all of this is happening it's making his his actions kind of rushed and overwhelmed and he's going to have this sense of juggling what he's currently got going on so if you're looking for him to make a new move towards you i think at this current time it's quite unlikely he's maybe going to be feeling inspired he's going to be coming up with plans he's moving forward but at the minute he's currently trying to juggle what he's got and it's already stressing him out however the two of coins is very banal it's not it's nothing to be kind of worried about it's a kind of fairly innocuous energy so even though it feels stressful nothing bad is happening it's just a case of feeling like you rushed off your feet you've got a lot going on so because of this change and what he's currently got on his plate it's going to feel a bit stressed out so i don't think his actions are going to be to take on anything new or make any major changes at this time but the most important thing is the desire is there the realization is coming and the fight if you like to want to overcome the obstacles both internally and externally are very much there and it's very much in the process of change so i think that's really positive threes don't forget to hit the bell subscribe i will see you on the soulmate reading in a couple of days or on a private reading in the meantime loads of love guys see you then hi group four 
So, his current thoughts, intentions, and likely outcome. Uh, likely <laughs> actions. <laughs> We've got the world, the four of cups, the king of cups, and the moon. Okay. So, his current thoughts. Right, this is very, very interesting because his thoughts, intentions, and likely actions. We've got a lot of very strong energies here. We've got the moon and the world. These are both very powerful major arcana energies. The world in the opening suggests that, you know, you have rocked his world, you know. The world says that you, you represent taking things to a whole new level for him. You represent change. You represent massive positivity, massive possibility. You represent... Um, it's interesting because the world card can be about travel. So there could be some travel aspect between you guys. But the other thing is, it's like it literally takes you to another place. You know, it, it transforms your world. It gives you the world. It changes everything. It gives you the chance to go in a new direction. It gives you the chance to overturn everything and to change everything in a really amazing and positive way so it's a really good good energy the world you know it's a fantastic energy and card so his thoughts about you are that you are this amazing opportunity but it's a very 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 powerful energy it's a very powerful energy so this could we could well be dealing here with a soul connection that's very powerful that's very strong that's very um, illuminating and can be very liberating. But for someone who is fearful and very 3D, very focused on this sort of small, it's like a smallish life, do you know what I mean? Just doing the regular thing and they don't really want to overturn all their sort of comforts. You know, they want to stay in their comfort zone, basically. This is potentially an alarming situation for someone who likes the, the everyday in their comfort zone. They don't want to be woken up, you know? <laughs> so this could be the case for some of you because you represent the world to this person and yet you've got the four of cups in terms of their thoughts and intentions. So you are the world to this person. You represent this amazing opportunity, but they're not taking it. They're saying they don't want it right now or they can't cope with it right now. It's going to be different for each of you. Some of you, is, this person is still in a relationship. Some of you, this person is still healing from a relationship. For some of you, this just opportunity with you just represents, it's too out there for them. You know, they, they don't feel able to cope with it for whatever reason. You know, so even though you offer them the world um, and really that you are an offering from the divine of something positive in their life that can break their humdrum normal sort of situation that they're not entirely satisfied with if we're honest you know the four of cups is a card of you know you've been offered something to kind of get you out of a rut but to some extent they're just kind of not really um going for it at this time their current thoughts and intentions are you represent this amazing situation but they don't want to take it at this time the king of cups is the spiritual advisor it's also the a romantic, it, it can be, in my readings anyway, it can be a romantic, ideal romantic match on a masculine, from a masculine point of view. This card has a couple of meanings here, really. So this is indicating that you have this strong connection, that he is a romantic match for you, that he does reciprocate the feelings as well. I think this is important. There is a sense of um, well, how do you say it? Reciprocity <laughs> between you, you know, for sure. Um, even if he doesn't ad admit it or show it, there is a sense of connection. I also think it's interesting because the King of Cups really can be a card of the spiritual advisor because the King of Cups, the Cups are often linked to intuition and depth and sensitivity of emotion. I often give a nod to emotional intelligence here. So this person offers you the opportunity to really grow as a person. This person is like a spiritual guide to you. So this could indicate a soulmate or a soul connection. It can also say that this person can teach you a lot, you know, and, and th this person can help you to grow and to learn about what you want to do, get more clarity in your life, get more focus. So this is kind of a very, uh, very much indicates a soul connection, like a soulmate. Okay, the other thing is that they're saying here is to really be intuitive around this person. 
you know, and towards this person. In terms of taking actions or your thoughts around this person, be intuitive because that's going to, you know, guide you accurately. But so this person is, you know, this person does have that connection to you. Um, but what it looks like to me, it's a very high level connection. But at the moment, they're kind of here. They're kind of stuck in there every day. You know, and that's the issue. We've got this powerful energy on a on a soul level. They're very connected to you and they have this high level connection to you. But at the minute, they're kind of still vibrating at a kind of lack mentality. And in order to really kind of meet with you, they've got to come up and meet with you at this kind of like higher vibe where they don't have this sense of looking at the everyday and looking at what they've already got and feeling dissatisfied with it. Okay, and how are they going to do that? They've got to face their fears. The moon. The other thing with this is that regarding what they think, feel, you know, their thoughts, their intentions and their likely actions, it's not as it seems. So if they've told you something, it might not be entirely accurate. You know, it's not all as not as it seems. And I actually feel it's in a good way. It's not as it seems, you know, because I feel like they've kind of said, no, I don't really want that. But there's an indication that they do. Um, but the point is with the moon that they in order to move towards you and take positive action and move forwards to this great opportunity, they've got to face up to their fears. They've got to face their shadow. They've got to overcome some aspects of themselves or be, be welcoming to some aspects of themselves that they've pushed down, that they've pushed away, that they don't want to face up to. And this is what's going to give them this sense of joy, this sense of possibility. This is what's going to allow them to kind of go to the next level, which is what the world is all about. You know, as we integrate those aspects of ourselves that we are um, have pushed down, we become a higher vibe. You know, we accept and love ourselves wholly as we are. And then we can uh, take things to the next level. And this is what he needs to do. So his likely actions are around this time because of the strength of feeling that he has for you, even though he's saying not right now at the moment, it does look likely that his intentions are to face his fears. Um, and this might not be conscious, but this is where it's going is that he's current sort of likely into the near future actions are to face up to some things and to try and sort some things out. So it might not be as it seems. I think this may be a slightly different story to the one that you have been told or that you are observing. But the point is, if you want to help because you do seem to have a strong soul connection, make sure you're facing your fears. Make sure you're um, moving towards what you truly want and that you are loving and accepting yourself wholly as you are because this will help because you're so connected this will help him to do the same in his life which will ultimately help you move towards each other so i hope this makes sense loads of love number fours don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell i will see you on the soulmate re reading in a few days or on a private reading in the meantime have a beautiful beautiful next couple of days and i'll speak to you really soon